Anushil and today I am going to continue my educational series with the chapter circles of maths and this is the part, third part of this chapter okay so today we are going to you know discuss some other theorems related to chords okay so first theorem which we are going to discuss today equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center what do you understand from this? I'll show you. Uh, yeah, let's uh, do this. Yeah, looks cool. Yeah. So, equal chords of a circle. Say this chord and uh, say. Oh, sorry. And say this chord. Both are equal in lengths. Okay. So, what is the case that equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center? So, equal chords will be equidistant from the center. Thus, if the chords are equal, the distance from the chord to the center will be equal. Actually, there is no way we can prove this. The only way is by physical calculation. So, let's assume that this is this theorem is true. Let's take its converse. Chords equidistant from the center of a circle are equal in lengths. So, if let's take a case that let's say this is O, A, B, C, and D. E and F. Given O, F, and O, E. Oh, sorry. Huh. O, F, and O, F, and O, E are equal. Then uh, C, D, and A, B will also be equal. The only way to prove it is by physical calculation. So let's take a circle and then make say I'll draw another circle here show you proper method to do it just a second okay so here is my circle with its center O O right then what we need to do is we'll draw two lines which are equal in length say so L and M let this be O dash right L and M now draw two lines perpendicular to L uh, draw a line perpendicular to L this okay also draw a line perpendicular to M this okay so when you calculate with your ruler you will find that these both lengths I'll show it to you using my ruler a very sophisticated ruler actually I have not drawn to length I have not drawn to actual lens just I'm going to show you it's not correct but still I'll show you it's not extending up extending up here but if it was possible you will find that these both lengths will be equal thus proving this as well as this theorem in this also what you need to do is calculate this calculate this CD and AB Draw it with a ruler and then what you need to do is using a ruler measure EO and OF. You will get that OE is equal to OF and hence you can prove this. Also in this you will find that let this be A, B, C and D. You will find that AB is equal to CD. So hence this also proved. So this was it, hope you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and 
please share these videos with your family and friends learn more